Welcome back all, Lore here. I just wanted to give you a quick map overview of our trip out to Hotno and the surrounding area. We did so much stuff out near Hotno, folks. Lots of stuff to do, lots of stuff to kill, lots of great weaponry. I mean, just look at our inventory now. Booyah. Some really good bows going on. Alright, so what did we do? How did we get here? What did we pick up? So we started from Kakriko Village. And we headed down south out of there on the main road with our horse. We went back by where Hestu was, crossed the bridge. We took a sharp left out of there. Uh, we went on the main road. Then we kind of... Okay, there was a false wall there with a treasure chest. We also sidetracked a little bit. At night, we shot the statue with its glowing eyes and got a shrine. Then we continued on the road. We took a, a right here at this little intersection and went into this little inner loop here. Why did we do that? Well, we wanted to get the tower, get our map, and of course, as you can see with all my stamps, there was lots and lots of stuff to do here. So what did we do? We got a treasure chest on top of the bad boy tower there, where there was also a traveler's sword and a long distance phonix bow, just in case you didn't have a traveler's sword for the weapon connoisseur. Uh, let's see here. We got a croc seed, series of three trees, match the fruit, husk inside a hollow of a tree. This is inside a cave, kind of hard to see on the map here, but uh, there's a little sp uh, spit of water there, and there's actually a cave that goes inside there. Some good gemstones. Uh, let's see here. Bad boy nest. Uh, pinwheel, shoot the balloons. Or maybe those are husks flying through the air. Pardon? Then we went down here. Oh yeah, don't forget about all the Lumina stones. Just about all these little caves, tunnels, whatever. They all had Lumina stones. So don't forget your Lumina stones. And this is a really big cave here, by the way. Then we went down to Fuzzy Navel, or Oakley's Navel, or whatever that is. And a uh, circle of lily pads there for that. Then we warped back up to our tower. Flew northwest. Puzzle block. Karak there. Oh, and I forgot about the crocs at Fort Hot. No, that was a pinwheel at the top of the wall there. And uh, we had to shoot the husks with a long distance bow. That was under a metal door. Pick up the rock. That one was push a boulder. No, wait, that one was blow up a false wall. Pick up the rock. That one was the boulder we pushed down from right about there. Uh, offer an apple to the offering tray. Uh, we had lots of, uh, what were those fish called? Mighty carp. And, uh, along both edges of that waterfall, there were swift violets. All right, what else did we do? Then we went back over to this little area where the inner loop was. Uh, buried treasure, sunken treasure, floating treasure, sunken treasure. Uh, rock to pick up. Move metal door, pick up rock. This one was a little more complex. We had to go around this inner loop, uh, shoot or blow up all the signs. There were 10 total, so make sure you get all 10. Then a balloon will appear above the cabin. Pop the balloon, get your croc. Inside the cabin, there is another treasure chest. Over at this little pond, a circle of lily pads, jumper dive through, a sunken treasure there. All right, from there we went here and uh, found a husk in the hollow of a tree. I think from there we rode into town. Rock to pick up down near the water. Uh, sunken treasure there. Blow up the false wall, get a treasure chest there. Uh, rock on top of tree. Rock on top of tree. This one we had to feed the dog. It's the gray and white dog. He's out in the middle here somewhere. Uh, feed him three pieces of food after you see the pink puff of smoke. Treasure chest will appear there. Okay, so over toward Nirvana Lake, we had husk in the hollow of a tree. We had some good gemstones and some other stuff down there. Uh, pinwheel, shoot the balloons, 
And all these are either sunken or floating treasure. I can't remember which was which. Just They're all either sunken or floating. Ring of Lily Pads. Ring of Lily Pads. And last but not least, series of three trees match the fruit. Then I think we hit the uh, Korok Seed on top of the Ancient Tech Lab. Just climb all the way up, you'll find it up there. Swirling, glistening pile of leaves. Ring of Lily Pads. Uh, let's see here. I think then we went northbound. There's a pedestal to activate here. Ring of Lights is all the way out here. Now you're going to have to learn how to shield surf to make it there. Uh, floating treasure, I think a silver rupee. And there's lots of gemstones inside this cave system here. It's well worth your time and effort to go in there. Uh, this Karak seed here. Uh, there's another pedestal. This time the Ring of Lights is going to shoot out toward this tree. Climb it. Ring of Lights is out to the side a little bit. Alright, Spring of Wisdom. Right behind the spring slash shrine, other side of the mountain, you got two blocks of ice you have to melt. Another Karak seed over here, that is a circle of rocks. Complete the pattern with the missing rock. Then we flew out northeast of that. Uh, two Karak seeds out here. One is a circle of rocks. Complete the pattern. The other one is a yellow flower that starts over here. Buried treasure. Uh, north of that, there's two treasure chests right next to a blue Lionel, and both of those have a gold freaking rupee in them. 600 rupees right there, folks. Gotta love it. Alright, what else did we do? Then we went out to the ocean, baby. Uh, we, we flew down from the ancient tech lab. Uh, this one's a little tricky. You have to play basketball. You need all three ice blocks to make it that far out. Sunken treasure. Sunken treasure with a gold rupee. That is the side quest to Hero's Cash if you happen to talk to the Birdman first. Then we kind of swam out toward the uh, Major Test of Strength Shrine where we got our third piece of the climbing gear. Now you're going to have to be creative with your ice blocks on the way out. Uh, quite a few treasure chests to get. Sunken, all this is sunken treasure. Except for that one, that one's floating. Uh, you got a Karak seed there. Activate the pedestal, circle of lights ends up over there. Then we went on further exploration of the sea. Lots of good, lucrative treasure chests. Mostly expensive gemstones. Gold rupee. All these are sunken, by the way. I believe these two were floating. Maybe even another floating, I can't remember. And then, last but not least, a silver rupee. Alright folks, happy hunting! I hope that helps. Best of luck to you. If you're having trouble finding any of that, just go back through my walkthrough videos and uh, you will eventually... Oh yeah, the three brothers, we also did that. Next to every Hanask was a corresponding treasure chest. Not too hard to find. You'll figure it out, I'm sure. Alright folks, that concludes my video. Happy hunting!